Floss Tube 33. Hi, Floss Tube. Uh, this is Amy Loves Toads. I'm Amy. Um, it's July 14th, 2019. I think it's a Wednesday. Maybe. Um, I'm in a different location. I'm in my living room. As you can see, my quilt on the wall. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, so all the little dogs are right here. Basil's right here. Melly's right here. Ella's right there. And I think I hear Luna eating. Oh, Nelly wants to get under the covers. Um, also, my son is off rock climbing, so he may come in at any minute. So we may have an interruption. And my phone is on because he's out driving. Um, I have a few old finishes to show you and a new FFO. So first, let me show you this real quick. Are y'all ready to talk about some cross stitch? This is an old one. Not old, but old for me that I uh, did. This is Agnes Platt's Strawberry Sampler. It's by Blackbird Designs. It's in a book. And I had to stitch it because of that brick. Brick is one of my favorite things to stitch because my dad laid brick. He was a bricklayer. And so, here it is. I had it framed. And the B-Skep is um, like satin stitch. I had this framed a really long time ago. Oh, I think like, not real, I'd say really long time ago like five years, which is not really a long time ago, but um, at Michael's. And it is, I don't know if you can tell, but I talked to Janine McGowan about this and asked her, and she says I should take it back. It is is—it is very loose. Um, it's on this side. So I don't know if you can see it. It is wrinkly. Do you see how wrinkly that is? It wasn't like that when I picked it up. That started happening about three years ago and it gets worse and worse every year so now it's really wrinkly like it was just in one little spot and now the whole side is wrinkly um i do not remember which michaels i had it framed at but i think they the computer system is from store to store so i think i could take it to any michaels and maybe they would redo it for me i don't know but i really love it i love it so much gorgeous and so this is the picture in the book which you can kind of see more detail because I think there's just darker but then I really like um, this actual strawberry sampler in here also that they reproduced and I might stitch that one day because I love strawberries so that's an old one that needs to be redone. Uh, somebody from, I think my last video asked me if I had seen vintage animals and I told her yes and I told her I had finished it and so I told her I would show it again and so this is my vintage animals from Jeanette Douglas. This is 36 count legacy and I added frogs and toads. So, um, so you can see right here and there and there and there and there. I added frogs and toads. And um, this is on like a mat board and I put magnets on the back and it is on our key ring where our keys hang. And I my son and girlfriend his girlfriend helped me put two videos together last time so maybe they can help me put in a picture of what this actually looks like when it's in the key thing so <laughs> there it is yes and i love this i loved stitching this i love how it turned out 
Okay, so my FFO for this week is, um, hold on, let me think, Tomato Dame. This was from Plum Street Sampler. It is a dime to stitch exclusive. I think they had more copies at one point. So if you want to stitch this tomato dame, tomato dame, um, I would call dime to stitch in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, there was also another tomato pattern. I don't know, was she a lady like flying on a bird? I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, <laughs> call dime to stitch to see if they have more patterns. Um, and this is Plum Street. I changed out the fabric. It was a blue R&R. &R. Um, found this wood looking fabric at Hobby Lobby. And this ticking. And made it into a little quilt. So here's the back. And I just sewed on some rings, so they're sewed on. And put little thumbtacks in the walls, and she hangs in my kitchen. She's all done. I had to take her off the wall to show y'all. Um, let's see here. Okay, whips. I've been working on my Heritage Sampler. No, this is not Heritage Sampler. Heritage Sampler is on the wall in front of me. <laughs> um, this is Shores of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. I am working on that block right there and I'm making a lot of changes. I don't know if I should show you the changes yet. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, okay, so the shutters are black here. I'm changing mine to brown because I wanted, I wanted wooden shutters. I uh, changed the door to brown because I want it to look like a wooden door. Um, and I think that's really all the changes you can see yet. I will change her face to a skin color because she looks like a ghost right now. She is charted in white. And the chimney stalks are here, the chimney right here, they're charted in white too and I will change them to look like brick. Because brick. So that's what I have so far. See the shutters and the door are brown. Mm, the top, top grass, I used a variegated thread. Uh, I think it was a silken color. This is stitched on um, 36 count Old Mill Java by r, &R. And that's the whole thing so far. Beautiful. <laughs> Hi, BB. Uh, that's my new start. Had a new start. I'll just go ahead and show y'all my new start. I started. You Had Me at Flamingo by Hands on Design. This will be a Christmas gift for my Aunt Shirley. I'm stitching it in all the called for DMC. And that's where I'm at. And let me get the thread out of the way. This is on 36, just a white linen. And I'm just doing it little by little, taking my time. Although I do want to finish it. 
uh, because I won't let myself start anything else until I finish that one. I'm stitched on Be My Love by Carriage House Samplings. I'm stitching this with Leah um, from Aviatrix Stitcher. And I am changing everything. I think the only thing I have not changed is the brown. Let me, oh, yep, yeah, that white is stuck to that sheep. I want to call those sheep chihuahuas, but they look like sheep, so. I love the softness of the colors and the linen. Oh, the linen is 36. Luminous Fiber Arts. I think it's faded denim. Yep, faded denim. And that's been very fun, especially with the color changes. It's been very, very fun. If you want to know any of the color changes, um, just let me know. I'll probably tell you more about them when I finish. What's wrong? You want to get over here? All my stuff is in his spot. You want to say hello real quick? Get Basil. He's all white because he's old. Are you old? Yeah. We'll get him a spot. There we go. You gonna step on my stuff? Let me put some of this back. So will not be too confused when I go back to stitch it. Where are you going, Basil? I just took you from there. I stitched on my Eloise. Um, she, oh, she's by the Russian designer who is on Etsy. I had a question. Somebody went over to Etsy and tried to find her and couldn't find her. So I went over to Etsy and looked and I found her site, but this girl's not on there right now. So I'll keep checking. Um, and when she is, I will tell you, I guess. I need, I'll write her Etsy store name below in the description box. And then you could favorite her, favorite her shop and keep checking back. So, isn't she cute? She's so cute. And this is where I'm at. And she has thread on her face. She's a big disgrace. Here we go. Hold on. I don't know if you can. Oh. I'm right in front of the windows. So she is a little washed out. I did some of her hair. I'm slowly doing her hair because there's four different shades of brown in her hair. So I'll do a little bit down here and then her hair and do some green and do her hair, do a little bit of the brown, do her hair, do some white, do her hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I love her and I love the fabric she's on. This is a 32 mystery I got it from Stitch Fest last year and it didn't have a label on it, but I love it. What's wrong, BB? What's wrong, BB? Coastal Lighthouse by Stony Creek. And there she is. I finished up the cardinal and the ribbon in his mouth started on that basket. I don't know if I had, yeah, I, I don't think I had the greenery under the cardinal done either. 
uh, like that sort of, it wasn't too confetti. I think there was four different colors in that too. And now I'm started on the basket, but I love this. This is 30, 32 count. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Vintage Stormy. Vintage Stormy something. It is the called for, and it's 32 count. So I'm stitching it um, two over two, which is not my favorite, but I'm, st I'm starting not to mind it so much, so it's fine because it looks really good. It looks good, I don't mind. Okay, uh, I think that's all I have for That was what? One, two, three, four. Oh no! Two. I forgot to, my hay, my hay's over there. I didn't get my hay out. I worked on my hay. Should I get it? I don't know if I can reach it. Hmm. I'll show it to y'all next time. Y'all probably can't see the progress anyway. I think I did four or 500 stitches. So next time I'll show it to you. And then you'll be able to see more progress. And you can't see the frog yet anyway. I'm not at the frog part. It's just green, so. Um, my, let's do, okay, I didn't have any haul. No haul. And I have some stitchy sweetness. Cindy from Cindy's Cross Stitch. She sent me some of the frog stamps. Cindy has been on an adventure, so go watch her and find out all about it. It's fabulous. She's doing great. And then Natalie, who is now my pen pal from the UK, she sent me a little package, but um, these were stitchy stuff in the package. And oh my gosh, I love these. So variegated my colors and then look at this this is so beautiful let's see all of our twists hand dyed in the uk so i love that that is so beautiful yeah. so thank you girls um i have plans now where do you want to go where do you want to go are you gonna whine he's my whiner see i whine all the time i whine all the time that's what I do. I whine all the time. Hmm. You want a blanket to lay under? <clears throat> Melly has all the blankets, baby. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, so I want to finish the one block from my Hawk Run Hollow. My shores of Hawk Run Hollow. I want to finish that one block. And then I want to finish... The you had me at Fl Flamingo, and then I want to start. Can we take a look at my bag again? The spider. Um. Diddly daddle designs. Very very cute. I kitted this up, y'all. Crossed wing collection. I don't know what it's called. It's backwards. Red. Red birds and raspberries. Y'all can probably read it better than I can. I don't even know why I'm reading it to you. So the female cardinal is my very favorite. So I've kitted this up and when I finish those two blocks, I am going to start it on this blue, which I hope, I hope, yeah, I hope will be okay. This also is a mystery linen that I got at Stitch Fest last year. And I'm pretty sure it's 32 count. Have no clue what it is. But it'll be beautiful, right? Oops, yes. Yep. So I am, I just, ah, I'm itching to start all these things, but I won't let myself start anything unless it's a gift. until I finish some stuff. 
they're in their little bed. I'll show you their little bed. I might, I might turn the thing around and show you their little bed in a minute. Okay. And then this has been calling to me big time. I want to start this so bad. Perfect world. The Scarlet House. I'm not going to read it to you, but it's beautiful. The poem. The saying. Read fast. So I'm starting to kit it up. Um, I'll probably use mostly DMC. Some of the big sections, I'll get um, the overdies. Like I, I have one so far, and it's on the skimpy side. So <laughs> I need to go shopping at some point. Hold on. This is Grasshopper. So at some point I need to go shopping. And I'm going to be stitching it on a 40 count R&R. &R. Whoops, R&R. &R. Which, you know I love some R&R &R reproductions. This is Stars Hollow. So I can't start that until I finish those two things. So I better get stitching, right? And that is it, that is it. Um, my quilt behind me, it was a shop sample I made for Quilting Adventures. The pattern I think is called Curvy Log Cabin. There was a ruler for it. It was intense, a lot of trimming and cutting and ironing and trimming and cutting, cutting and ironing. Um, but it turns out gorgeous gorgeous um this thing has been hanging in the quilt shop um i don't know four or five years <laughs> and i finally got it back yesterday so i was so excited my girlfriend jennifer's gonna help me quilt it so it's just a top it's not an actual quilt i mean it's a quilt but it has not been quilted yet so it's just the top and it's gorgeous so i wanted to have it as my backdrop. Um, I don't know if I can do this without making y'all sick, but I want to turn y'all around and just show you my babies in their bed. And then I'll let you go. Hold on. Whoa, there's my kitchen. There's where I usually film. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see. You're going to see my whole house. I try not to make y'all sick. There they are. They're in their little bed. It is a playpen for dogs. It zips closed so we can close them in and the top comes off. Okay, I'm turning you back around. If you are motion sickness, close your eyes. Um, and that's so we can take them camping. But we have it in the living room so they can get used to it. And they've been laying in it. They love it. We put their beds in there and they curl up and I feel, I think they feel safe because they're like enclosed. So and they sleep in there together. They get in there by themselves. We don't even put them in there. So we'll take it camping with us and they can sleep in there. They'll sleep in bed with us when we go night night, but during the day when there are people around and stuff, we'll stick them in there. So. Okay, guys, short and sweet. Have you been watching um, Instagram on Common Threaded Stitcher? I've been enabled. Yeah, it's good. I love you.